morning guys and welcome to my new vlog I am really happy to say that this video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com If you don't know of them already, GlassesUSA.com has an online catalogue with no less than 9,000 different frames to choose from They have their own in-store in -store brands and also the classics designer brands that you know already as you can see, I went on a classes hunt on the web shop and I used the virtual try-on tool which was so much fun and it gave me an idea of how the glasses would look on my face. With the help from that tool, I picked out three pair of glasses and these are the first ones that I absolutely love. I think they suit my face like really well in like width and color scheme and I love this style so much. Retro inspired, pretty simple, very light to wear. And I love this bit up here. So these are probably going to be my everyday glasses from now on. I love them. And then I also got prescription glasses as sunglasses. And these are my first pair that I've ever had. And I also love these. I love that they're big. Like I have a big face. So I want my glasses to be pretty big. Again, these are very light to wear and comfortable over the years. So I'm really happy with these. And then the last pair here are also, I think, in a classic Elise kind of style. I really love these two. They're a little bit smaller, but really cool. These are going to go with so many different styles and outfits. Here's a close-up of them. Shopping on GlassesUSA.com is completely risk-free. They have free shipping and returns and a 100% money guarantee. So if you jump to the link under my video and you sign up for the newsletter, you will get 65% off your first pair of glasses. So that is a massive discount to go and get. So if you like some of my glasses or you want to go and try on some yourself with the virtual try-on, then I put a link down below. Thank you so much to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring my video and let's get started with the day. I can't believe how much of a difference a pair of glasses makes for an outfit. I've just updated the ring displays with some of the new rings we have in. That's new. This one is new. And also in brass, we do have a few news too, such as this one, that one, this one, and this one. So they're now full and ready for Christmas. It's five minutes to 11, so we're almost ready to open up. I just wanted to show you this that I found on the way here. Some beautiful paper that I think would be really nice to use over the holidays for shooting jewelry pieces doing sets up setups for instagram and now when we are talking about christmas there's something i want to ask you guys because i think i've done vlogmas for the past three years or more and i wanted to ask maybe it's five i don't know but basically for a couple of years now, I've been posting a video every single day throughout December from the 1st to the 24th. And I wanted to ask you guys if you want for me to try and do that again this year. Or if you would prefer that I go on with the schedule that I'm doing at the minute here on my channel. Because day to day videos would mean more like a vlogy types video where I bring you along on my work day and just the basic normal things that people get up to in December. Or if you'd like for me to keep the schedule that I'm doing now with more themed videos like a day in the cabin or a style video. Let me know what you think because I do not want to make vlogmas and do an effort if you're not interested. So yeah, comment down below what you would prefer and let's open up the boutique.
it's a quarter past four o'clock and the sun is setting outside i've barely vlogged anything today because i've had customers here all day it's been a lovely one so soon it's going to be time for me to pack down i think this has grown quite a bit since i got it i think it's doing pretty well considering that's that it's in a basement it's now way past my closing time but I sliced up my finger when I was cleaning the sharp knife I'd used today. I cut it into my finger and was bleeding so much. I got blood so many places. I'm now using the first aid kit my neighbor got me last year when the boutique turned one year. <laughs> Such a good present. Um, so it's pretty much stopped now. We can go home soon. I'm really hungry. That might be the reason why I messed up. But overall, it's been such a good day in the boutique today. I thought I'd be able to vlog more of my day, but it's just been so busy here that that's lovely. Um, so it's not really been possible. But let's hope this has stopped and we can now leave. <laughs> going to turn on the oven and eat. I have some pizza left over. I've just picked up a package that I want to open and this was by the way the test I did on the wall but I just feel like it's going to be too extreme. I don't think it's something I'm going to enjoy on a longer run so therefore I'm just going to think about it and until I figure it out, I can just cover it like that. E.T. Bone Home. I picked up a pair of boots from Emma Go. Boom boom. They look awesome. I think I'm just going to try them on. Do 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 Baby take off your clothes I guess I need to wear them a few times for them to be comfortable They actually look very similar to my Yonak boots Like they're in the same shape with this like square front I hope you're enjoying my vlog so far because this is kind of what you're gonna get if you want me to do vlogmas this year it's gonna be just following me around in whatever i'm up to and some days are gonna be short some days are gonna be put together like more days in one video um so yeah and also i'm definitely gonna have a christmas countdown candle again this year um and i still don't know if i want a christmas calendar or not i think it's so nice to have something to open every day so i might still try to figure something out oh this is so uncomfortable feels like my heart is pumping in my finger <laughs> This is my new thing in the morning. I mix coffee with hot cocoa and then dark chocolate buttons, just a few to give it like a chocolate taste. I made it to my morning water. I need to talk to you guys before we're gonna leave the apartment today. And I already know that some of you are going to say at least it's okay to have privacy and things that you don't talk about online. But I will just never accept as a content creator to not be able to be human. To not be able to make mistakes, have political opinions, have feelings, to make errors. And I need to be able to share those things too if they're big inside of me and if it's something I feel like I need to just share so we need to be able to have 
real people online too. We're not just perfect people walking around in perfect clothing and doing perfect things all the time. I am like you guys. I have the same feelings and the same life crisis. And to me there's something beautiful in being able to share that. I must admit I pretty much pretty much never seen or heard a content creator have a political opinion um, to comment on some, some of the things that are going on in the world that could divide their audience into two and I think that's such a shame because it means that whenever someone is sharing something that is sensitive or opinionated and they experience that there's not room for that on social media we will slowly take away more and more layers and in the end you'll just have this weird mechanic fairy tale character that you get to watch that never does anything wrong and it's just so fake it's not what we are content creators are normal people and that's why i need to share now that luna was adopted this monday and it's been a shitty week yesterday when i picked up my camera and was vlogging for the first day this week it's been the first day that i've been okay i have been like on the edge of crying throughout the week i've been i have been crying for quite a lot i found the perfect home for luna and yesterday friday i woke up to a message from the adoptive mom who told me that luna was doing so well she's already jumping up on her sofa asking for cuddles and they have um, bought some more tunnels for her online that's gonna be delivered next week and she's just she's doing so well like she's so happy she's with someone who took this whole week off to bond with Luna someone who's not working that much and who's home a lot and yesterday I just felt like everything just made sense this horrible decision that i had to make and that i was so nervous about how it was gonna go how luna was gonna feel so now i'm here in an apartment where i still have so many of luna's things and i need to get used to being here without her it's so weird that now when she isn't here i can see her everywhere and I thought that I could hear her, um, especially at night. I've just felt like I, I can hear her. So, yeah, I have her room that I need to empty at some point. Um, I think I'm gonna bring the rest of her things to like a bunny shelter or something. And yeah, I just, I feel, I feel really happy with my decision because the guilt for not being home enough with Luna and to not be able to give her the attention and the life that she deserves it was just a constant pain in my tummy like and it has been for over a year so the decision took a long time for me to make and i'm just so happy i found this adoptive mom she is amazing she is so amazing um so luna as well i need to get well <laughs> And I need to try and take back my apartment in a way and to make it nice for me to be here again because for the past week it's just not felt like a safe place as much because something is missing and also because I have an empty room with all of Luna's stuff or like so many of her stuff but she isn't there so I need to just but I, I got so happy yesterday when I heard from Luna's new owner. Um, it meant a lot. So Luna is really happy, but she has now been adopted. And I just I needed to say that. It is a massive thing in my life and it should be possible for me to share something like that without experiencing the comments that I've been getting from the last video. That was extreme. Um, Let's go work. I ended up putting my hair in a sleek bun again today because my hair is weird. But then I'm wearing this beautiful house coat kilted that I found in Hamburg. Super cool with the waist belt. 
the pumpkin tights from the web shop and also wearing these white boots for the first time and then I'm going to pop this one on top and it has the color match with the tights so I think that's cool and then the glasses again today from glassesusa.com I've just bought some really lovely Christmas Danish butter cookies and also a beautiful Christmas countdown candle because I'm gonna do a giveaway on Bohemian Wonders Instagram so if you aren't already following there stay tuned find the Instagram because there's going to be a lovely giveaway very soon I just have 45 minutes before the boutique is going to open and I've decided I'm going to do a rearrangement in the store, a smaller one. The rail that I have over here, I want to make into a sail rail da -da -da -dum, with some of our sail items on there so that they're all gathered in one place. I think that's going to make it so much easier. So I want to make that there. Ooh. These are professional. I just took all of them in, in one. Oh, now I'm dropping them. Mm. Those 45 minutes are already gone. I've just opened up the boutique. I have done a few rearrangement things, but I still have a few things to do. First of all, rearrange this. I need to make some signs so that you can see these all sale pieces up to 75% off, also on the web shop. I need to put a new dress on this mannequin because since it's in this part of the room, I think it needs to be a vintage clothing item. We have some very winterly pieces on this rail now. I've put this very beautiful dress. It's going to be up on the web shop next week. Maxi dress in some very lovely autumnal but happy colors. I've put her there and then some of the cotton pieces here but the rest of them are still recycled silk. So that looks really good. It's just two o'clock and it's really dark outside. It's been raining a lot. <coughs> so, I think it's time for me to end my vlog here. It feels like I'm getting sick. I've been coughing a lot over the past couple of hours so I'm now making some food and then I'm going to try to just slow down completely because I don't have time to get sick I would really try to avoid it so I'm going to end my vlog here thank you so much to glassesusa.com for sponsoring my video so comment down below if you'd like for me to do vlogmas and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video I'm gonna see you all very soon, hopefully. <clears throat> Bye guys.